And we're live. Welcome to the 26th sprint review call uh, with the common stack. I'm so happy that you care enough to actually see what we have going on. And there is so much going on. So I'll just dive right into it. Uh, let's share this screen. So the biggest thing, of course, that I've been pushing towards is the uh, Param parties. There's been so much action in the Param parties and there's so much fun. Uh, and we finally have the dashboard feature complete. We added uh, before you could explore steps in the bonding curve, so you can add these steps and delete them. Uh, and we added that same functionality to the conviction voting pool. So uh, you can actually add, uh, add steps here and you can say, hey, what if we want to raise 46,000 uh, wrapped X die and we have 800, uh, thousand in the common pool and we have a million people voting well then what how many tokens will it take to uh, pass this proposal uh, well in seven days it'll take 333,000 like 33 percent of all tokens in two weeks it'll take 17 percent in a month it'll take uh, 8.4 percent uh, in three months it'll take 4.6 percent uh, and, and in six months, they'll take 2%. This is the cool thing with conviction voting, right? Minority of, uh, minority token holders, if they wait long enough, can pass large proposals. Uh, so it's super cool. Uh, also, these param parties that we've been hosting have been uh, going all over the place. There's just been a lot of external outreach. Uh, in, one thing that's new is these Twitter spaces. This is not actually a param party, but it's uh, I, I did two Twitter spaces this this week. They're ephemeral, so they're not recorded anywhere, but they're just like people who come. And there were 130 people in this one. And I think there was about 80, 80 in, in the other one with rainbow rolls that I did. So uh, a lot of outreach happening with Twitter spaces and, of course, with the param parties. Uh, these are just some of the external param parties that happened last sprint. We also had one in Gitcoin, which was recorded, uh, and it was a really good one. I, I ended with uh, a lot of the Common Stacks mission uh, at the end of this, and for sure, Kenny, I will hook you up with this one. This one is is definitely worth worth uh, getting getting tweeted. Uh, and uh, there's going to be one this Sunday uh, with the uh, economic design community, and this and this uh, Pram parties has really done a great job at uh, really getting the idea of collaborative economics and, and the mission of the common stack out there. I think so many people are going to have come to a Pram party as their intro to common stack, and then be like, "I want to build one of these for. I want to build a commons for this purpose." And so it's, it's going really well. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it to Tam to talk about uh, the actual sprint. 26. Awesome. So this is Sprint 26. And this is our very own naming genius Ivy, who's on vacation swimming with sea monsters. But when she returns, she will be um, heading up comms and legal in common stack. So we really uh, hope she enjoys her, uh, her these last few days off because uh, uh, she's a lot of work to do on Monday. Um, so Ivy comes up with these names, which is why I always want to make sure that we can see her when, when I'm reading her, uh, her work. So she chose staking, st staking is a plant, uh, means a, uh, staking a plant means driving a stake into the ground and fastening the plant. You've seen, we've all seen all of these. It provides strength and support and permits plants to continue pushing skyward despite the obstacles they might have, like winds and the weight of their fruits. Um, so uh, we are ending this retro we're ending this sprint. So sprint 26 has come to an end. We end every sprint with this review and with a retrospective. Today's retrospective, uh, I'm just gonna zoom out for a minute to see how many we've done already. Um, tons and tons of them. Uh, and today's retrospective, um, we had a lot of great things actually to celebrate uh, the things that went well, um, a number of things that we identified as things that could have gone better this sprint. And one of the actions that we want to improve on this sprint is to define our comms strategy better. So that's gonna be something we take on uh, into sprint 27. Okay, as usual, I always also bring news from the TEC. Um, the Stewards Council happened this week, and as you can see, all of the working groups are funding their, or drafting their funding proposals, uh, which will be some of the, probably the first proposals to hit conviction voting when it goes live. Um, we have the Communitas 
uh, funding proposal, which has gone through advice process and is now in advice process in the community. Um, and a final draft of the stewards uh, funding proposal, which is still in advice process in the working group, but uh, in the next 24 hours should be published uh, on the forum as well for a community advice process. Help the TEC make these proposals better by leaving some constructive criticism that was as always welcome, uh, always very appreciated. Uh, the other things that we talked about in the council uh, this week uh, was the ballpark figure is to have some idea of the total amount of funding that would be requested from the working groups. Uh, so for Dow operations kinds of things. And then the total amount of funding that's already been requested through um, proposals on the forum from different token engineering projects. Uh, and we end up with a number, um, something like 580, 590K. Uh, and that is a number that we can keep in the back of our minds as we're um, debating the parameters uh, for the, the TEC and the amounts that we'll want to have for short-term uh, funding purposes. Um, <clears throat> okay, um, we also did some brainstorming on revenue streams um, so that working groups can act as profit centers and not just cost models, uh, cost centers. Uh, Livia uh, put it brilliantly when she said that the TEC has so many pods with these high concentrations of knowledge and skill. Um, and for sure, there's some ways that these working groups can leverage that among many different ideas that the stewards uh, uh, brought together. Um, so other things, the stewards also, uh, oh, I, yeah, I guess the, the community stewards manifesto is also updated with um, the onboarding and offboarding diagram to make that more clear so the whole community sort of knows this process a little better than it, than it, uh, than it had been before. Um, and lastly, the uh, stewards this week talked about these last final pieces of work. Um, we are at the very end. Uh, the very end of finishing all the pieces of work that are um, critical to the upgrade. Uh, and once all these pieces of work are finished, uh, the, the stewards can give the green light for an upgrade. And then um, I also want to share the uh, these visual explainers. Um, I know everyone has seen them before, except if you're watching this for the first time. Uh, but this is not just the TEC. This is a, this is the design pattern for our commons, and this is what future commons will look like as well. So if uh, you go to the um, handbook for TEC, you could find both the visual explainer for the two-phase hatch process and the visual explainer for what a commons will look like with the augmented bonding curve conviction voting and how uh, voting parameters uh, uh, modules in place. Uh, and with that, I will pass to Livia. Thank you. So, yeah, this week uh, we kickstarted the reward systems uh, governance research initiative uh, that it's in partnership with the Token Engineering Academy, hosted by the Token Engineering Academy with uh, NIR protocol, Ocean DAO, uh, Boson protocol is supporting us. And also this week we were approved in the uh, Gnosis Zodiac uh, DAO. So our proposal passed there and they're also going to be become partners and, and share a little bit about what they're doing in Zodiac. And we're going to um, have a workshop and think about how to improve their reward system also like we're doing with the data sets of all of these projects. And it was really cool to see this opening call with all the 40 participants that we have. We received um, more than 80 applications. I think it was the highest um, a Token Engineering Academy course had so far. And it was really great to, to see the quality of the participants and we're all excited for the work that's coming. And also this week, I I presented at the govern the <laughs> graviton training. So I was sharing about relational insights to governing the commons and um, shared a little bit about Ostrom, and and we we did an exercise in the end uh, for vulnerability and turning things that. 
uh, don't feel like you had a choice and ownership of them into um, into finding a path that you can find the choice and ownership for these things that were bothering and and take that yeah take that agency back. And then for the initial buy-in proposal, we we approved that on snapshot. So this is a signal vote because we have other steps of this process to approve on snapshot like who are going to be the members of this multi-sig for who doesn't know the initial buy-in proposal is uh, the TEC wanting to be the first buyer of its own bonding curve so uh, doing this initial buy-in will give uh, the best price for allocating tokens to key um to key projects and uh, key opportunities that we have as a community and one of these portions are going to be going to the reward systems and and the other parts are going to be decided by the community and executed by um, the signers of this multi-sig so the next proposal needs to be deciding who are going to be the, the signers and um, the people involved in those proposals are um, hatchers and uh, community stewards, community members. So we'll propose a few sets that everyone will be able to choose what is the best set for managing that. And, and also, uh, yeah, we made some progress in the, in the TC governance uh, visuals. So there's a lot of comments here to be integrated and it would all also be great to receive more comments. This is like quite complicated process, but I think we're getting to a point where it's uh, somehow easy to understand. And with that, I'll pass to Christopher. Thanks. So for the, uh, the TEC reward systems upgrade, uh, uh, there's a lot of work going on. Um, the development of the, the, the prey system is, is progressing uh, according to schedule. And I think that we will be ready for demo time in uh, maybe two to two, 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 three weeks. Um, uh, meet the meeting attendance bot, which Vivev is working on, is also seeing seeing progress. He's uh, finding ways to integrate that with the the TEC calendar, which is really cool. So, so based on the the calendar, we will be able to feed the data directly into the source cred. Um, for the analysis and distribution work, uh, we have uh, started up there anal analyzing both uh, old praise data and um, the source cred data to. Uh, create that analysis and distribution dashboard. Um, and we have uh, uh, found um, a starting team of the members for the rewards uh, work group. And, and uh, we had a meeting just the, the other day, uh, laying out the plans for, for the time from here up to um, the commons upgrade. So, so that is uh, happening as well. And for the trusted seed dashboard, uh, Marco and uh, Rodrigo is uh, continue working on the, the designs uh, based on, on our feedback from the first round. Uh, and we also made a submission to a, a Raid Guild uh, to perhaps help us with the development of the dashboard, with fear, which feels really uh, fun of involving a, 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 an interesting external party in, in, to all this. Um, and with that said, I'll pass it to Yenesi. Yeah, thank you. Well, in the last few weeks, we have worked on refining on the onboarding journey of newcomers in our community. We have focused on analyze, analyzing uh, our current Discord channels and how we can improve the experience of new and, and current members. So um, I'm going to share my screen now. Uh, to do this, we developed two documents, one that contains the audit of our channels with uh, some suggestions of what needs to be uh, changed or suggestions around how to better arrange or use the current channels 
and uh, questions to be answered. It uh, also includes a more specific contributor model based on contributor time uh, commitment that will be distributed soon through our channels once approved. And uh, we agree, we all agree with. Our intention is to let our community know how they can get involved and contribute with the mission of the common stack and the trusted seed. Um, also, this document is a wish list <laughs> where we can all include all the desirable items that um, would be uh, nice to have. And we have also a mirror board over here. <laughs> Show you is, is our middle board. And um, this middle board has been taking shape over the past few weeks with the help of two contributors. I take this opportunity to praise them for getting involved in this project and for providing, providing insightful um, opinions and ideas about uh, our Discord onboarding and to take this uh, to the next level. And uh, it is also an opportunity to invite you to be part of uh, this uh, interesting uh, project. So you're more than, than, one, than welcome if you want to join. Uh, so far, we have been discussing um, the community journey and their goals, their struggles, tasks, the community needs, pains, touch points, their feelings, or areas of opportunities and the outcomes of being part of this great community. So we hope to have this uh, already set soon for the new ones to get involved in the community stack and the trust seed. You will see these small changes on the server shortly. And of course, we will appreciate your feedback. And uh, on other news, in the following sprints, the gardeners will be working in the improvement of uh, common stack data management by planning to start from scratch with uh, some important spreadsheets and the idea is to simplify internal processes um, and include new insights in the uh, Google Data Studio report to make better informed and decisions with clean and more manageable data. And with this, I pass it to Maria. <laughs> Actually, can we pass it to Max? He has a time thing. Oh, Max, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, oh, thanks so much. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I've just recently joined. This is my first spring since a long time. Uh, so I'm still in the progress of learning. Would love for your suggestions or improvements. Uh, but I wanted to show some progress on even on the first week. So what uh, happened? First of all, we clarified uh, the working like agenda, you know, what is uh, the North Star, being like building the third way to fund uh, like commons and public goods. And uh, my current position is in the decentralizing um, trust and seed. So uh, that would be what was great to clarify. Another thing we had a nice discussion with Dan uh, for the handoff and he passed me lots of insights on the community. I've uh, researched uh, who we have now identified a few interesting people to talk to next and uh, from the first day I kind of got an idea about uh, the foresight uh, doing foresight for the session based on a great experience I got before with that uh, on the governmental level so uh, maybe uh, uh, to show a few things about like uh, what, what I'm talking about is first of all I've sent the links about uh, with more details to, to read about it, to watch a small video which explains it. Uh, and uh, the action plan is to conduct a survey, identify like people who would be ready to volunteer for like uh, some hours in December to work with us. And the main point of this foresight is to understand our scenarios, uh, build like enable more maturity for the community through like uh, horizontal connections, sharing ideas and so on, and engaging them in like at least one, but possibly a few scenarios we, are, we, we can end up as a group. And uh, that should strengthen our like vision and commitment. So here are a few details, uh, questions on the survey I propose 
I'm also engaging a great expert on this to do that and uh, how it looks like uh, in the process. This is an example of the other foresight we did for the topic of future of work. So uh, we got uh, some people who identified uh, the trends for, for this for this topic, like, like here, they were structured by like segment, whether it's technological, economical trends. Uh, there were lots of things I gathered. Uh, how it could be used, for example, we identified the uh, most important trends for us as a group here, like job uh, uberization, gig work, robotization, skills, and so on. So that helped us to understand what would be the biggest impact and the biggest acceleration potential across trends. And also you can build really like great scenarios, uh, like uh, what would happen, you know, if this trend materialized like small, smart health insurance based on social circles and so on. And then you build something called future wheel about where it will lead to us. And that sparks a super great amount of uh, ideas and connection. So that was my brief report on the last two weeks. Uh, looking forward and passing to uh, Steve. Uh, Maria. Thank you, Maris. And oh, and thank you for that amazing work because it's very aligned with all our goals as uh, gardeners and for the first of three that, that we can, that we want to see uh, more happening uh, with our members and giving them some voice uh, in, in, in our organization. So yeah, uh, well, I have been working on the past two weeks on, on getting a, a, a survey, all, uh, mainly to information update, because uh, sometimes members of our community uh, change their handles on socials and, and information that we need to, be, uh, to get uh, up to date. So uh, if you have been doing so, uh, if you have any changes on your socials or information that is uh, important for us at the Trusted Seed, you will be getting a survey very soon uh, and a form. And also we will be gathering some feedback from the community um, so we can uh, get a, a lot of new ideas uh, to come through uh, on the next year. So that's very exciting. Uh, and yeah, so if you uh, are new in our community and you have some questions, um, things to share, uh, you are more than welcome to our community calls that happen three times a week. <laughs> we have the prophecy office hours, uh, the praise onboarding call, and the contributors call. So come, uh, feel free to join in Discord. And, and yeah share with us, hang it up with, with us. We sometimes have a lot of um, interesting <laughs> debates with the community. Uh, yeah, so in terms of the accounting part of the, 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 the trusted seed, uh, so we had a, a, a burn uh, this past week. Uh, yes, things happen, uh, technical issues with the minting, but it's all solved. We, we got the solution and thankfully with the help of Dan, uh, he, 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 he helped us with the, with the burning and it's all good now. And, and yeah, so at November 19th, when we are treating this, uh, we had 28 applications, which is a lot uh, for, the, for only like two weeks of two, three weeks of, uh, of months that we, the, the, that we have. So that's great. Um, a lot of uh, people got their emails yesterday, so that's uh, great to see a lot of activations coming. So keep, make them come, <laughs> the activation. And welcome, welcome to the, to the Trusted Seed. Uh, we are very happy to have you uh, as part of our community. We had one removal, things happen, and yeah, but that's why uh, we are now down to uh, 320 members. Uh, soon to be uh, updated with more members because of the a lot of applications that, that we had. A lot of applications, I, have, I must say, comes because of uh, the bankless uh, interview with uh, Griff. He inspired a lot of people and they are often saying like, I'm, I'm here because Griff inspired us. So uh, we're happy to, to see those messages. And yeah, everyone, you're welcome to, <laughs> to the trusted seat. Uh, I'll pass it to Ekene.
Okay, thank you, Maria. So the sprint started with the distribution of the October AMA themed collaborative economics. If you've not seen it, say you missed out the AMA, you should go check it out. The link you know, will be coming up on the screen. So make sure you check it out and uh, see what is it we did and understand what collaborative economics is about because we had these amazing experts sharing thoughts uh, you know, all about it. Now, we also moved on to remind you of our social channels during the sprint. We uh, reminded you we, we exist and we have a channel on LinkedIn, we have a channel on Twitter, we have a channel on Discord and Telegram. So just like Maria said, feel free to drop in and make sure you join any of our onboarding calls, whether as a contributor or you just want to hang around and see what is it that we do. Uh, we deliberately this sprint brought updates from the ecosystem, some opportunities to spread by and things you can tap in. So um, many of you tapped into that. So kudos to you. Part of that was the governor's research system reward. So if you sent in your application, yeah, congratulations to you if you, you know, you're pull through. Now, part of the favorite posts we made this sprint, uh, which also, you agree with because of the analytics. Uh, we'll begin with the interactive infographics we shared on blockchain for social impact. That uh, infographics was huge. Many of you uh, came on board, uh, talked about it, retweeted it. You know, uh, it was so much engagement on that post. So yeah, we see you. And uh, groups never before had a three-piece part series that ran part one, part two, part three. Yeah, it was like the apex of every <laughs> content we put out uh, this uh, sprint. It was so good, it was so relatable. And many of you um, show that by how you were interacting with the posts and how you kept you know, engaging with that. We see you, we appreciate you. Then our staff driven case study was that of the Governor's Reward System Research Initiative. And um, it was good. I, I, you know, we looked at how we can and we put that out and many of you went for it. You digged in and that was so good. So we appreciate you. And oh my goodness, um, the Twitter meme party is ongoing today. So by the time you're seeing this, it must have happened. So, well, it's okay. You could still drop in your own meme. And we have a theme. Uh, it's called the uh, Argumented Bunting Club, the ABC. So it, it, you could just just do something and put it out and let's see what, it, what uh, your meme could be and what you intend to message your person across. Now, let's talk analytics. This print, I'd say you brought it. We get the content, but you stayed with the content and that is so good. Our LinkedIn post impressions stand currently at 2.5K. That is 90 eight percent increase from the last sprint last sprint we were screaming at 1800 now we are starting at 2.5 so guys thank you so much and we have 13 new followers which is also an 18 percent increase from the last sprint i mean this this figures uh, that just so good and we have 84 percent of you dropped in to say hello and that's also an 18 percent increase from our last sprint with 33 percent action on our LinkedIn page. So we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Keep them coming and let's talk Twitter. This print we recorded 38.2K tweets, like tweet impressions. So that's amazing. Uh, many of you dropped in to check our, our profile, see what is it, the common stack is about and all of that. So we have like 8,000 of you that visited our page, 8,321 to be precise. And we appreciate you dropping in. And like I said earlier, just make sure you drop in any of our channels, Discord, Telegram, Facebook, um, Discord, Telegram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just drop in and, um, you know, engage with us. We have 163 mentions. So Anything that you feel that's connected to Common Stack and you want us to take a look at it or something, just you know, just mention us. We would always find someone to look at them. And 236 of you followed us this spread. That's like amazing. So thank you. Thank you guys for engaging us across all social media. And thank you for bringing in your energy. You rock and we appreciate you. So it's back to grief now. Wow, thank you so much. You know, we 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 did a lot this sprint, but honestly, it's always just us 
interacting with a huge community of people. So uh, I always like to end the call with people who uh, are not in this call, but are helping uh, push the Common Stack mission forward. So of course, we got to praise Pedro and Vitor, Fabio, Mitch, Marco, Nuggan, Mount Manu, and Lauren for their help making the dashboard a reality. And much praise to Mitch, Lauren, Chewy, Zep, and Nuggan for hosting all these awesome pram parties. There's also, of course, uh, Mount Manu and Chewy who do a lot of the logistics to set up pram parties and other discords. And uh, Alicia and Sid for setting up the awesome uh, uh, Gitcoin uh, pram party. And so much praise to Lauren for all the Twitter push on her personal account and from Giveth, one of our major interactions and one of the major pushes on Twitter. Uh, praise Ivy for all the great sprint names. Praise Edu, Wonka, Chewy, Santi, Zep, and Ivy for pushing to get the data out for the working group proposals. Praise Angela for all the work she does with the Token Academy and the Governance and pushing for the reward system. Praise again to Angela, Eugene, Renzo, James Watt, and Jess uh, for the great Governance push. Uh, praise Carol and Nate for their great work on the case studies. Uh, praise Wonka for organizing another great Gaviton training. Pedro for making the quadratic ranked choice voting strategy on Snapshot. I think that's the first, first I've ever heard of a quadratic ranked choice voting. Uh, so that's super cool. Uh, praise Katrina for and Acid Laser for the awesome work on design uh, for the decision matrix. Uh, praise Mitch, Lauren, and Zep for pushing the initial buy proposal forward. Uh, something that every commons is likely to want to uh, create for their own. Uh, something that we discovered uh, in the process of working with the TC. Major praise to Rudolph, 5IV, Nuggin, MS, YGG, Octopus, Mitch, Mateo, uh, Grail, uh, Huru, Huru Day, and Marco, and probably many others that I'm forgetting uh, that are participating in the reward system uh, for the TC and for all future comments. Uh, praise Marco and Roger for the great design work on the Trusted Seed branding. Praise Spencer for helping us get uh, the Raid Guild proposal out and being our gateway to Raid Guild. Praise Scott and Loganaut for helping out with the onboarding disc, disc, uh, Discord uh, mural board. Praise Vive IV for all his amazing Discord technical work and advisement. Praise Dan for his support in handing off the Trusted Seed uh, and also helping us burn some errantly dished sea stack. Uh, and praise Coach B for all his help clarifying the legal relationship between the Trusted Seed and the Common Stack DAO. And then, of course, praise to all the 28 people who applied to the Trusted Seed in this last sprint. And praise, uh, praise uh, Mitch, Vitor, Marco uh, for their uh, showing off the dashboard in the AMA. Praise the entire blockchain for good community, for interacting with our socials in, on Twitter and LinkedIn. And of course, our new uh, major praise to the new 236 people following us on Twitter. Um, thank you all so much for uh, listening to our, our uh, massive sprint review call. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you again in two weeks. Bye, everyone.